Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for your life to turn around? Are you ready for things to happen to bring you great success, to see your dreams and visions come to pass? Then you are at the right place at the right time, listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast. Welcome. And while you're here, please subscribe and leave us a good review. Also, let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show. Jesus. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Julie Tussie Show. I am your hostess, Julie Tussie, and I am so glad to be in the studio with you again today. Now, I don't know if you're driving to work while you hear this, if you're changing baby diapers, if you're cleaning your house, if you're taking that time for yourself and listening to this encouraging podcast today, but I'm here to tell you thank you. Thank you so much for listening, and I'd like to ask you to share this podcast with your with your girlfriends and your mamas and your aunties and all of those women in your circle. Now, we have some really amazing things coming up in 2022, so I want to make sure that you subscribe, so hit the subscribe button and go to Facebook and find me, Julie Tussie, and you don't have to be, I don't have to accept you as a friend because I've already got almost 5,000, but did you know you can follow everything I do and you can also find the Julie Tussie show page there too. And so you can become part of that group. Now, something amazing happened in October. And that was that the release of my first book, my first non-children's book was released and I got to be a published author. Yes, I'm excited. It's called You Darling Are Worth the Fight, Lose Weight and Thrive Like a Boss Through Perimenopause and Menopause. And this book is actually a culmination of my life story and what I went through in the six years that I've been podcasting. That's right. In January, it'll be six years that we've been a syndicated podcast. I'm so excited. Woo woo. Need some clapping right there. (laughs) And I give God all the glory. It's been an amazing journey. The The podcast has grown and morphed. Um, it started out just a women's lifestyle podcast. It's still that, but it's it's just grown and become so much more. And my relationship with the Lord has deepened and gotten stronger. And uh, this podcast, uh, when I first started it, my husband told me when I'd go, oh my gosh, I got to do a podcast. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to talk about. (laughs) I was putting myself under so much pressure. And my husband said, baby, You just need to let this podcast be your life. And that's what it has been. And you can see the things I've gone through because I'm just so open and vulnerable to everybody for some reason in this podcast. I want to help you and I want you to enjoy your life. So I want to share the struggle, the heart-wrenching struggle of what I went through when I started having perimenopause and menopause and didn't know anything about it and had to educate myself. And I would do the same old things I always did to keep my weight at least at the 40 pounds over normal level, which was always a struggle once once I, once I was in my 30s, I, I, I had trouble keeping it there. And all the things that I did to keep it there or a little lower, my whole life didn't work anymore. So I wrote this book and you can hear lots of this in bits and pieces through the podcast over the last six years. But it came to pass in 2021. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? And it is amazing. It's a game changer. I've talked over and over about how when you just will obey the Lord and let him take you by your hand before you know it, he created something great. And you're just like, oh my gosh. I can't believe I got to be part of that. That's how I feel. And so what a blessing. What a blessing. I'm so excited. When the book released, um, there was a gentleman that started something like a movement on on Facebook and social media called the 75 Hard Challenge. And man, it was super duper hard, like exercising for an hour and a half every day, twice a day. <laughs> once in the indoors and once outdoors and stuff like that. And I know his point was to help people to realize that if they discipline themselves, they can do it. Well, I just really felt like so there was other spinoffs of this, but I really felt like it would just, it was God that, to start the Julie Tussie's You Darling Are Worth a Fight 75 Strong Challenge. Now, if you go over to TussieOnline.com, you'll be able to download the daily habits or seven daily habits for every day of the 75 days. 
And then there's 75 strong um, daily affirmations. There's 75 of them on one sheet. And you can read all of them and speak every one of them out loud every single day. It doesn't take that long. Or you can do one a day for 75 days. But we we launched this. And while you're there, you can also click and go straight to the You Darling Are Worth the Fight Facebook private group and become part of the group. I may eventually have a page just for that. But right now it's a private group. And so we can be real honest, real open and real vulnerable there. So uh, starting in podcast episode 266, I have been hitting these seven daily uh, habits and So it goes on through, uh, let's see, 67, 66 was, 266 was pray, listen, and journal, 267, read 10 pages of You Darling Are Worth the Fight or another encouraging book. Um, Number three on 268 was count your calories and eat more whole foods. Number four on episode 269 is drink a half gallon of water per day. Number five was 270, episode 270, cut out the sugar. Yeah, that was a fun one. (laughs) But talk about life changing. And today we're going to talk about number six, intermittent fast for at least 12 hours. Okay, now that might sound hard to you, but it's not. So before we kick into that, I wanted to read a scripture to you. How many of you know that the Bible is what changes your life, your relationship with Jesus, praying in the Holy Ghost, living your life for him and speaking the word of God? I love this. I feel this. I'm going to do this. Psalm 34, verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Not sometimes, not part of the time, not mixed in with all the cuss words. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make her boast in the Lord. The humble will hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Is that not powerful? Oh my goodness. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. May I encourage you today with this powerful word that no matter what comes up, don't cuss it. Don't curse it. (laughs) don't damn it just begin to praise him you know there's podcasts you can go back and look for them where i talked about how to bless the lord in the middle of your mess and there's one in particular that is so funny and it was from last year and it was called something like the great brock (laughs) catastrophe of thanksgiving the great brock catastrophe where when we were fixing our thanksgiving dinner the broccoli didn't go down the disposal but it exploded and ran all the way out all over my beautiful rug and onto my kitchen floor in the middle of preparing thanksgiving dinner yeah so I remember looking at that mess pouring, literally you all pouring out of the cabinet and there wasn't an inch inside that was not covered with ground up broccoli, raw broccoli. But I remember looking down at that and I wanted to cry. And instead I heard the Lord say, you can praise me and you can bless me in the middle of your mess. Yeah, that was life changing. So I hope the scripture is an encouragement to you. When we come back, I am going to share on intermittent fasting for the 75 Strong Challenge with the You Darling Are Worth a Fight book. We'll be right back. Only on the Julie Tussie Show are you going to hear that you are not created to be ordinary, but extraordinary. You are not created to be common, but uncommon. You are not created to be average, but above average. You are not created to be tolerable or passable. No, but you are created to be remarkable, noteworthy, impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. We could go on and on about how awesome you are. Are you struggling to lose weight? Are you over 30? Are you having night sweats, hot flashes, brain fatigue, brain fog? Do you just not feel like yourself or maybe you a little ornery? I have been there and have I got the book for you. This is called You Darling Are Worth the Fight. 
lose weight and thrive like a boss through perimenopause and menopause. It is a must read for every woman. Not only is it funny and insightful, I have studied this subject for 30 years and I have a lot of great information and great products for you to take your life back and I share exactly what I did to lose 30 pounds in the throes of perimenopause and going into menopause. (laughs) If I can do it, you can do it. All you have to do is go to TussieOnline.com and order yours there. You can also get it at Amazon. So you, darling, are worth the fight. Lose weight and thrive like a boss through perimenopause and menopause. Reach out to me at the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com and make sure you order for your friends too because this is one life-changing and powerful book. I want to take a minute to say thank you so much to our supporters, underwriters, sponsors, those of you that give to our nonprofit corporation, The Voice Incorporated. If you'd like to partner or give a one-time offering today, please go to TussieOnline.com and look for the donate button. You can also give at the cash app. That's the cash symbol sign with The Voice INC and on Venmo, The Voice INC. For those of you asking to get my fabulous skin care, which is like a facelift in a bottle, you can go to julietussie.neora.com. And now, back to the Julie Tussie Show. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed those messages. Don't forget we're a nonprofit corporation, the Voice Incorporated Ministries, a 501c3. So when you give, it's a tax deduction. Go check us out again at the donate button on TussieOnline.com. So good, good word there. Today, I'm going to be reading to you about this intermittent fasting thing. And I will tell you that... I started this out a few years ago doing intermittent fasting. I don't do it all the time, but I do try to, especially when I'm trying to get my weight down. I do try to work on it. There are some huge, huge health benefits. Not only do you have an easier time controlling your caloric intake, but you actually raise your leptin and lower your ghrelin, which is in the book. I talk about that. And oh my gosh, those two hormones are so wonky and crazy during perimenopause and menopause but intermittent fasting is especially successful for women so let me get to that chapter i think it's chapter 16 yeah go on over to tussieonline.com and order your you darling are worth the fight lose weight and thrive like a boss through perimenopause and menopause book and make sure you order some gifts for your girlfriends because this book i don't care if you're 18 or 80 this book is amazing there's great great information in it it's funny um there's pictures uh, of things advertisements if you will facebook posts that the lord had me create all six years through almost all through the six years of podcasting and it's just really really turned out cool i think you'll enjoy it okay so it's not 16 it's actually 13 <laughs> It's called Julie's Keys to Weight Loss After 30. Key number four, shut the front door. IF what? Intermittent fasting. In episode 193 of the Julie Tussie Show podcast, three keys to lose more weight after 30 plus, I shared my experience and success with intermittent fasting. IF is simply a term for an eating cycle between periods of fasting and eating. Now, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Now, saying a bypass, we do this every day, right? You don't eat while you're sleeping. So now don't freak out. I'm the least likely girl in the world who would have thought I could fast in any way, shape, or form, period, let alone do it on a daily basis. But I must tell you, I did it, and I still do it on and off. I succeeded in it. I repeat, I succeeded at intermittent fasting. I actually enjoyed it, and most of all, it is seemingly easy for me once I get started. I'm telling you, if I can do this, anyone can do this. You can do this. You all know I've mentioned my hypoglycemia troubles in this book, so I will address how I've handled that too as I explain how all this works. I've been implementing intermittent fasting into my life for a few years. I believe that women lose differently, lose weight differently than men. 
There's just something not right about that. Dear Lord, help us. I mean, men barely cut back calories and eating and all of a sudden they're skinny. What the heck? What is up with that, girlfriend? It's just not fair. All right. I'm up and off the floor, not crying anymore. Over. 